Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I have a featured seller video and what that means is I'm gonna tell you where they got it, what they paid for it and what it sold for. These are eBay bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can buy low and sell high. If you're new to the channel, thanks for being here. And I am sharing with you Hodge Podge. And I have featured him so many times, one of my favorite people to feature because his store has so many different and unique, just just wait, just wait and see. I am pretty sure there'll be something that you didn't know about. So let's get started. All right, the first item is this vintage Tonka. It's a, like a motorhome style RV press. And he got this at his thrift store for $10. Um, Let's see, let's go to the next one. The next item is this vintage, uh, it's a Cleveland, Ohio badge pin, Cordigan McKinney Steel Company. And he says he has 40 of them, bought a whole box for $4. And he thinks it was at a thrift store. Wait a minute. Now I'm confused. I'm, but then it says Steel Company badge paid five dollars on Marketplace. Confidential seal. I don't know. Maybe you know what? I think I missed one of his. Uh, I missed one of them. Okay, so this one. I apologize. Um, he bought this at Marketplace for five bucks, and it had eleven bids and sold for seventy six dollars. So I'm gonna go over. And I'm gonna search his sold and see if we can find the one I was talking about. Maybe it was, um, the way he did his list, it, it wasn't really separated. Okay, all right, yay, I'm glad I found it. Okay, so this is what it was. So uh, new old stock, confidential red tape, strip seal, and, um, CSI, NCIS, confidential security tape. So he said he bought 40 of them, a whole box for four bucks, and he sold one of them for $8.50. And he still has, what, 39 left? So yeah, definitely be on the lookout for things that you can do multi quantity on and turn a item into a bolo. Let me make sure I'm on screen share. Earlier today, I did one and I was like, oh, I'm not on screen share. Okay, so this bat, it's a Louisville Slugger. He paid $3 for this at the Goodwill and he took a best offer of 110. And this says response. So yeah, definitely be on the lookout for bats. One thing that I need to do a better job at looking at is bats for sure, because so many people that I feature have bats. Um, and the information's right there on the back to look it up. The next item, I have a, a Bolo category video on sheet music. You should go check that out. But this is accordion sheet music. And he bought an accordion and these books for $50. He sold the books for a best offer of $55 and the accordion is listed for $750. That's awesome. I hope he gets close to that. That would be amazing. All right, this snip and clip Hallmark ornament. If you guys don't know, some Hallmark ornaments can go for a lot of money and some are just bread and butter, but definitely look them up. Most of the time they have a barcode. So he got this for $2 at the Goodwill and took a best offer of $40 and the buyer paid shipping. The next is this Region 6 Explorer Encampment 1952 Vintage Patch. Um, he said Region 6 bought Scout Patch, paid a dollar, bought like 85 at a yard sale for a dollar each and have sold some for 150 each last year. So this is one of the stragglers that he still has left and he sold it for $23 and free shipping. All right, I like this one. It's not a huge bolo, but it's an Antique McGregor Drugs Columbia SC pharmacy bottle. It's just a little pharmacy bottle, you guys. And he sold this 
for $24 and the buyer paid shipping. Um, 99 cents is what he got it for at the Goodwill. The next item is this Curity diaper stacker. It's got Care Bears on it, or I'm sorry, the Care Bear Cousins and the Care Bears. It's new old stock. He picked it up at the Goodwill for $2.50 and he sold it for $40 plus shipping. All right, this creepy ceramic cat. It's an Anthony Freeman McFarlane pottery. Um, I don't know how he figured that out from this. Um, yeah, it's kind of hard to read. Okay, maybe I can see Anthony. But yeah, this little cat he picked up um, for $4 at the Goodwill and he sold it for $60 plus shipping. This Superman watch is amazing. Um, I'm surprised it didn't go for more. It says New Haven Superman watch with a leather band. Um, he picked it up in a lot, maybe had $5 invested in it, went for starting bid, working well and minty. He said it's a $200 watch. So I'm guessing he thought it was going to go for more. I thought it was going to go for more also. So cool. The next item is this vintage clipper belt lacer. No clue what that is or what that means, but he got this off eBay from a local seller for $25 and he sold it for 115 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage bedtime wisecracking talking Bubba with flashlight bear from 1997. So it's a plush. He got it at the Goodwill for a dollar and sold it for 30 plus shipping. This Marvin Bailey Pottery SC Dispenser, Dispensary, <laughs> Dispensary, Dispensary. Sorry, it's like aluminum. I just have a hard time saying that word. I have to really think about it. It's a jug um, with a tree, a palmetto tree, and it's cobalt blue. And he got this at a purchase local, paid 50, bought three pieces, sold one for 195, then sold this one and the one this one for 140 and the one left is listed at 150 and he got all three pieces for $50. He does really good with pottery. Like he knows what to look for. I'm not very good at pottery. I mean, look, it's like not even, I mean, it's, a, and it looks like a name. So very interesting. Jan sport backpack. Yes, these can be a big bolo. He got this at a thrift store for $5 and he sold it for $140, you guys. Definitely be on the lookout for Jan Sport. Buster Brown shoe store display sign. Um, another local eBay seller paid $10, sold it really fast. Also probably could have gotten more, but hard to price it since it was vintage store display. He sold it for $130 and the buyer paid shipping. All right, this Gucci made to measure, um, it's a tie rack closet organizer. Uh, he picked up one at his Goodwill for $3. Then a few days later, he went back in and there is a lady in line at the register with four of them in her hand. He said he was crushed. He tried to buy them off of her for 10 each, but she wouldn't sell them because she said her son needed them. So he sold this one for $58.50 plus shipping. Oh, what a bummer. The next item is this super shooter. He took a $60 offer on this. He paid $8 at a thrift store. And this is one I've known about for a long time. I've never seen this packaging. But if you guys see, I think this might be a newer model. But if you see super shooter, definitely look it up because they are definitely um, a good bolo. This 1940er, Borders, this 1940s Taylor Fishing Barometer Fishing Guide. He got this for a dollar at a yard sale and he sold it for 45 plus shipping. All right, this mid century modern C. Gerald wall decor, um, brutalist sunburst with birds. Uh, $4 at a thrift store, had 27 watchers when sold, listed for maybe two weeks, so definitely a bolo, and he sold it for $60 plus shipping. Red Wing Shoes, this is a vintage hat. And if you have not seen my hat bolo category video, you guys should definitely go check that out. It's one of my favorites, hats to be on the lookout for. Um, 
let's see. Red Wing Shoes hat, $4 at the Salvation Army, sold it for 40 plus shipping. This tea kettle, or maybe it's not a tea kettle. Is that a tea kettle? <laughs> Original Simplex Solid Copper Kettle, made in England. It's a kettle. Uh, thrift store, eight bucks, and he sold it for 55 plus shipping. And this is what it says on the bottom. Solid copper. That's always a good, like, keyword. The next item is this vintage Japanese liqueur 3D bird jewelry music box ballerina magnet. And it's got the little ballerina in it. Super cute. I never would have imagined it was worth that kind of money, but it's super cute. $15 at a local flea market. She is a seller, but only at the flea market. And knew the moment I bought it that she had probably messed up. It wasn't until I got home and checked comps. This style specifically with the music box ballerina is very re rare. So yeah, I would say that if I saw anything with a little dancing ballerina on a magnet, I would totally pick it up. Adorable. And $15. What a steal. All right. Vintage L5R Legend of the Five Rings cards. Okay, you guys. So the story behind this, I'm going to read it to you what he wrote. He got a huge lot. He paid $25, or I'm sorry, $20 for 65,000 cards. And I don't know if he counted them all, but 65,000 cards. And have made several hundred bucks. And... Let's see. I paid 20 for 65,000 cards and have made several hundred bucks and have at least 30,000 cards left. So yeah, he got them at a thrift store. They were in a tote and everybody just walked past them because they thought it was just a high price tote. And then um, I think that the people at the thrift store told him to look at it, like look inside and he, he got it for $20. So that's amazing. All right. This vintage David and Anita pottery face jug southern stoneware rare mug and again here's what the bottom looks like uh so i guess that says david and anita metters must be their name uh bought from facebook seller uh 145 and took me about nine months to sell it but it sold for 365 dollars and Eddie Hodgepodge loves jugs, face jugs. They're like his thing. He knows all about them. The next item is this Bentwood parlor chair. And he said, the buyer never picked it up or arranged shipping. I refunded, but eBay told me after the fact I didn't have to. So I don't know what that means. I don't know what that's all about. Um, I would have refunded also if they didn't pick it up and just relisted. But um, that's interesting. So I'll have to ask him about that, what he means by that. like because they didn't follow through with the pickup, maybe you're not obligated. I have no idea. So I think the ethical thing to do is to refund their money, but that's just me. The next item are these vintage brass and glass off wall mount scon sconce. I think is how it's pronounced hurricane globe candlestick pair. And he said that he has seen these in my videos before I've mentioned these in my videos. So probably in one of my, um, not my what solds, but probably one of my bolo category videos because I share a lot of research that I do in categories or like fifth, like I have a, what is it? 50 unexpected bolos. It may have been in one of those, but he said he saw it on one of my videos and he said these were consigned to him, but the consigner found them at an estate sale for $30. The brass is marked so easy to identify the glass isn't, but if you know how to identify old glass, then you're golden. He said sales have been a little slow lately, but I'm positive it will come back around eventually. Yeah, you know, it's just that time. It's the time of lockdown. I mean, everybody's kind of like holding on to their money, you know, with good reason, because you just don't know what's going to happen. So um, anyhow, this sold for $375 plus shipping. And I want to show you guys Eddie's Facebook group. It is Resellers Research Group. Uh, flippers, sellers, thrifters, buyers, and more. It's a great group. It's up to 1800 members. Um, he does a lot of great posts and it's a, it's a great group. So it's well monitored in my opinion. And I, I post from time to time. 
So definitely go check that out. The link will be in the description of the video. And he also has a YouTube channel, which he posts in sometimes. I'm like, Eddie, you need to do more videos. Um, he has great content. And, you know, he's not doing anything fancy, no fancy thumbnails. He's basically just getting on and telling you, like, what's going on? Like, he had a jewelry box, so he did it like a unboxing, what sold on Sunday. But he has great bolos. So definitely check out his channel. It's called HodgePodge. And if you want to see other videos that I have done featuring HodgePodge, you can go into my YouTube channel and go to the search bar and type in HodgePodge. I'm going to say I probably have maybe five, six, seven, maybe even eight now. He did a um, Bolo live show with me. I feature him a lot. He has, like I said, you guys saw it. He has a great store. He has a great eye. Um, he works really hard. And yeah, so definitely go check those out. Again, links will be in the description of the video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thanks as always for watching. I appreciate every single one of you guys. And if you made it to the end of the video, comment, I made it to the end of the video. All right, guys, have a great night. Thanks for watching.